here in the southwestern corner of Alaska, on a national wildlife refuge called Togiak, an ancient drama connects life in the ocean to lives on land. Starting in May and ending in October, great migrations of wild Pacific salmon return to the river systems where they hatched up to eight years earlier. They owe their great size to the nutrient-rich ecosystems of the North Pacific and Bering Sea, where they grew faster and larger than they could in freshwater. They swim home to spawn a new generation and then they die, releasing into the food chain those marine nutrients from their years at sea, fertilizing Togiak's rivers and land, nourishing its wildlife and its people. rivers of life with their abundance of salmon and their food chain legacy fed the first peoples who came to this region and everyone since then for several thousand years. Now eight villages lie in or near this refuge. Like their ancestors, Modern Yupik Eskimo residents maintain their strong connection to the rivers and the land. It's our supermarket out there. We depend on wild game, wild fish, practically every day. Once the fish are on the rack, they're carefully checked until it's time for them to be smoked. We call dry fish Salmon swimming home to Togiak's rivers also fuel a lucrative commercial fishery putting Bristol Bay sockeye, coho, and chinook on dinner tables around the world. Away from the hustle and bustle of the bay, one can find solitude. In this place without roads, Rivers and sky form the main travelways. Time here can run at the pace of a sunrise or the slow motion arc of a fly fisher's cast. Freshwater rainbow trout follow the returning salmon as they near their spawning grounds, hungrily eat their eggs, and grow heavy-bodied and strong. Pretty. Angling enthusiasts from around the world come to the dozens of crystalline streams to fish for trout, Dolly Varden, Arctic char, salmon, and grayling. With no villages or facilities in the heart of the refuge, river rangers spend summers answering questions and helping visitors and locals along the legendary Konektok, Togiak, and Good News Rivers. Snow falls any time of year in the mountainous northern half of the refuge. Meltwater replenishes the rivers of life. 
These unpolluted headwaters, 100 miles from the coast, here in the southwestern corner of Alaska, are protected within the 2.3 million acre Togiak Wilderness Area, one of the largest designated wilderness areas in the nation. The refuge adjoins two other public reserves, Yukon Delta National Wildlife Refuge on the north and Wood Tikchik State Park on the east, the biggest state park in Alaska and the nation. Together they form one of the largest protected areas on Earth. Yet sometimes that is not enough to keep the world at bay. In the wilderness peaks of the Auckland Mountains, where ice was the unchallenged sculptor for tens of thousands of years, remnant glaciers are all that remain. Their size and sometimes their disappearance are being monitored to contribute to studies of global climate change. Closer to the coast, in Togiak's frozen past, fire challenged ice as a master sculptor and shaper of the landscape. This three-mile-long, flat-topped lava ridge called a Tuya formed when a volcano erupted under a glacier. This is the only known Tuya in Alaska. Where the ocean meets the land, a ritual as old as the Ice Age takes place, echoing the connection between salmon and the rivers. During much of the year, marine birds are at home riding the waves of the North Pacific Ocean. And flying underwater in search of food. Each summer, they return to coastal cliffs to nest and raise a chick or two. Below the cliffs, Pacific walrus bulls haul their 3,000 pound bodies onto the beaches to rest and warm themselves between deep dives, where they dine on clams on the ocean floor. Walrus are also the focus of climate change concerns due to shrinking sea ice farther north where the females and their young go to feed. This land is witness to the great cycle of life and death. A time of plenty and a time of hunger. It is a place to contemplate the enormity of the natural world and its tiniest inhabitants. Winds from other continents blow across the Pacific Ocean unobstructed. The refuge and its wild residents are connected to each other and to the world beyond its borders. They are also part of a family of more than 500 national wildlife refuges across the United States. Places that capture the essence of America at its finest. This southwestern corner of Alaska teems with life. From its mountains to its salmon-filled rivers and all along its coast. Togiak National Wildlife Refuge helps to ensure that these lands are preserved forever. This special place is our own heritage and our legacy for future generations.